สวัสดีครับ Greetings from Bangkok on behalf of the Council of Asian Liberals and Democrats an organization which is a network of political parties of liberal and democratic leaning in the region who is co-sponsoring this event it is a great pleasure for me to address this session I recognize that the topic being discussed the war on drugs we have two representatives from the Philippines who will also be addressing this meeting. I hope that the Philippine Chair of the Human Rights Commission, Chito Gascon, will be able to give you a very good overall picture, as well as the statement that we made by the Vice President of the Philippines, Vice President um, Robredo, who will also uh, continue in her opposition, vocal opposition, to the war on drugs, we'll be able to tell you about the challenges that the country is going through. The fact of the matter is this war on drugs in the Philippines has already claimed 7,000 lives, many of whom could be innocent people unrelated to the drugs trade. It is a clear violation of human rights, a challenge for liberal and democratic institutions, not just in the country, but also will have profound impact in the region. I say this because we already see some leaders, notably in Cambodia, who are now contemplating carrying a similar exercise. And just over 10 years ago, in my own country, in Thailand, former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat also engaged in the war on drugs, which claimed the lives of two to 3,000 Thais. What we need to understand is the need to get to grips with the reality of the political impact of the war on drugs so that we can come up with the appropriate and adequate response and recognize what our agenda must be. The hard fact of the matter is, in all cases where the war on drugs has been carried out, it is a very popular campaign. That's why these leaders, populist leaders, decide to carry out such a policy. And to be able to get to grips with the issue, we need to recognize that its popularity stems from the frustration of people who feel that the drugs problem simply are not being addressed in an adequate manner. So for us, the hard truth is what is popular is not always right. And what is right often carries political costs. What we have to decide is what to do under such circumstances. I think for all of us, we feel that we have to stand up for the right principles. Whatever the political costs, we still have to fight against any violation of human rights. And we have to recognize that the war on drugs, apart from often claiming innocent lives also leads to other sorts of problems, corruption, political persecution, which very much go to undermine the democratic system itself. So our response, first of all, as part of the international community, is to keep up pressure and to say that this is not right, that this has to be stopped. But at the same time, our campaign, our message can only get traction if it is eventually accepted by the people in the countries where the war on drugs is being carried out. And here we have to do two things. First, point out that the war on drugs itself never achieves its objective. In Thailand, it certainly didn't solve our drugs problem. That problem remains with us. And one of the most powerful opinion pieces that I've read recently was from a former president of Colombia. He has clearly spelt out that during his war on drugs, a new set of problems were created, whether it's driving a lot of the drug trade underground, making drugs more expensive, preventing drug users from rehabilitation, greater corruption in the police force and the state officials, all of which eventually meant that the war on drugs itself never achieves the purpose it is said to be.
to be set out to, to achieve. And more importantly, it's not enough for us to criticize or fight against the war on drugs. We who believe in human rights, in liberal democracy, must also put forward a credible alternative as to how we would be able to end the drugs problem. Unless we do that, we will not have the credibility or the hearts and minds of the people whose support we need to eventually stop the drugs war. So I hope your session on this particular topic will be able to address these issues and allow us to continue the fight against such violation of human rights on a grand scale. Thank you very much for your attention and we will, in Asia, as liberals and democrats continue to support the good work you do in our fight against the war on drugs and also in solving the drugs problem for the people of the world. Thank you.